wants to be a millionaire live trivia show. My name is Genevieve and I'm delighted to have you here tonight because international variants of this well-known game show has been aired across 130 countries worldwide. And tonight you're just 15 questions away from equally sharing a grand prize 2,000 euros. So the rules are very simple. You're gonna have 15 questions with four possible options to choose from, with only one of them being the correct one. So choose the right answer in 15 seconds and take a step closer to a grand prize equally split to 1,000 euros. Also, if you're not sure the correct answer, you can use one of the two lifelines, 50-50 or ask the audience. So if you choose 50-50, we will take two the wrong answers away. And if you ask the audience, you're going to be able to see what other players are choosing for their answer. So ladies and gentlemen, wish you great success. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, so let's begin our show. Once again, fingers crossed. Here comes the first question. What does the Roman numeral X stand for? 2, 5, 10 or 20? As always, hopefully fairly easy question to begin with. So what do you think? Last seconds to get that answer. All right, time to reveal the correct answer to the very first question of the show. So ladies and gentlemen, of course, it's C10. So congratulations to 1,266 players answering correctly to the very first one. Well, let's hopefully continue the same way. Which country in the world has the largest population? A, Canada, B, United States, C, Australia, or D, China? Any idea? Well, let's have a look. The correct answer to the second question, it's D, China. So congratulations, actually almost everyone moving forward to the third question of the show. Very well done and keep in mind, 15 seconds on the clock. Here we go. What was the name of King Arthur's sword? Excalibur, Excelsior, Exonerator or Excalidra? A, B, C, or D. It's time. It's time to reveal the correct answer to the third question of the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you chose A. Of course, it's Excalibur. So, congratulations all of those who are still in fighting for that grand prize. All right, here comes the next question. What did the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution abolish? Drugs, alcohol, gun control, or slavery? A, B, C, or D, final seconds on the clock. Well, really intrigued to see how many of you are still in. So, ladies and gentlemen, the right answer to the fourth question is D, slavery. So, congratulations all of those who are still fighting for those 2,000 euros. Here we go, the fifth question. Who returned from the dead in the adventure of the empty house? A. Hercule Poirot B. Mrs. Marple C. Mary Poppins or D. Sherlock Holmes Final seconds, good luck! Excited to see how many of you got that right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer is D, Sherlock Holmes. And we have 1,540 players still fighting for that grand prize. Well, don't forget about those lifelines or the questions are getting a little bit harder. And, of course, 15 seconds on the clock. Here we go. A griffin is a monster with body, tail and hind legs of which animal? Elephant, dog lion or maybe you think it's horse any idea T 
Time to find out. So, ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer to the sixth question is C, Lion. And a good job of 1,314 players answering correctly to already the sixth question of the show. Well, let's have a look if you're moving forward with the next one as well. In 2009, who succeeded Michael Martin as Speaker of the House of Commons? John Berko, Oliver Letwin, Frank Field, or Robert Jenrick? Any idea? It's time to reveal the correct answer to the seventh question, ladies and gentlemen. It's a John Berko. So congratulations, all of those who are still in our show. And we'll actually getting in the middle now. Here comes the eighth question of the show. Which author created the city of Ankh Morpork? H.P. Lovecraft, Terry Pratchett, Neil Gaiman, Terry Goodkind. A, B, C, or D. Is that your final answer? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer to the eighth question is it's B, Terry Pratchett. So congratulations, 1,094 players. Well, let's have a look if you're able to get till the end. 15 seconds on the clock. Freddie Mercury was born in Zanzibar to parents from which country? A, India, B, Malaysia, C, Egypt, or D, United Kingdom. Final seconds on the clock. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look. The correct answer to the ninth question is A, India. So congratulations, all of those who are still in our show. Well, let's see if you can uh, equally split that 2,000 euros with you. The first national lottery draw in the UK took place in which year? A, 1982, B, 1994, C, 1997, or D, 2000. Well, final seconds to get that answer. Well, let's have a look how many of you are still in. So, ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer is B, 1994. And we have exactly 900 players in a moment, just five questions away. And don't forget, of course, if you still have those lifelines, feel free to use them. Hopefully, it comes in handy to get that right answer. Here we go. Hibs and Hearts are the two main football teams in which Scottish city? Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberdeen or Dublin? A, B, C or D, what do you think? Well, in three to C, ladies and gentlemen, the right answer to the 11th question. It's A. Edinburgh. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, quite a lot of you answering correctly to the 11th question. Well, only four steps away now. Good luck. Whose autobiography is titled Mad, Bad and Dangerous to Know? Winnie Jones, Alan Sugar, Ranulph Fiennes, Brian Johnston. Final seconds. Well, I really hope those lifelines was useful, ladies and gentlemen. The correct answer to the 12th question is C, Ronald Fine. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, 617 of you are still fighting for that grand prize. Well, 15 seconds on the clock. Here we go. What nationality was artist Constantin Brancusi? A, Italian, B, French, C, Russian, or D, Romanian? A, B, C, or D, what do you think? Well, definitely would be lovely to see all of you moving forward. So time to reveal the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen. It's D, Romanian, and actually good job. Quite a lot of you are still fighting for equally split 2,000 euros. Well, only two steps away now. How many U.S. states have a name beginning with a letter I? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 or D. 4 What are you thinking?
All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to see how many of you are still in. So the correct answer to the 14th question is D4. And we have 530 players. Actually, just now one question away. So are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, wish you best of luck. Let's see how the last one goes. Who is the Oscar winning mother of, of the actress Jolie Richardson, Helen Mirren, Vanessa Redgrave, Glenda Jackson, or Jessica Rain? A, B, C, or D? Is that your final answer? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to see how many of you got everything right. So the right answer is B, Vanessa Redgrave, and actually almost everybody answering correctly to the final question. So ladies and gentlemen, 517 players equally splitting 2,000 euros here and who wants to be a millionaire live trivia show. So my compliments to all of you. I really hope you enjoyed tonight's shows. Well, keep in mind, you can always have some more fun and adventures beyond the Wonderland live. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next show at 3.30 p.m. GMT time. So thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great evening and see you tomorrow.